Want to know how to get autographs through the mail? Hi Nostalgic fans, this is Alex with Nostalgic to the Max. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to get autographs through the mail, how to request them, how to send your own pictures, how to get your own pictures, and who typically responds. So let's get into that. Also I do just want to say I do have an affiliate with Amazon. Yay! So I will provide links in my description below of envelopes, sheet protectors, things you might need for mailing autographs. I'll link down below several like nostalgic stuff. If you guys do click these links provide, I do make a small commission off of them. So thank you in advance and there's no extra charge to you. All right. Okay, the first thing I do want to talk about is fanmail.biz. I am not sponsored by them, but this is the number one website that people usually use to find fan mail addresses. I remember using this website back in like 2004, I think was the very first time I wrote fan mail. So this is not a new thing. You notice when I posted on TikTok, a lot of people seem to think this was something new. It really isn't. People have been doing this since late 90s, early 2000s. So this is nothing new. Also, they are strictly fan mail addresses or addresses they're okay with people sending fan mail to. And most of the time, it's usually fan club presidents that are saying, hey, this is the address if you do want to send the mail. So trust me, it's safe and you're perfectly fine. Plenty of other people that have videos on this, but fanmail.biz is basically a forum. Whatever fan mail address they have for a specific celebrity will be on there. So basically you check the feedback received and see how many people have gotten responses and what type of responses they've gotten from this celebrity. They might also say, hey, this person doesn't send real autographs. This person is known to have an agent signing or this doesn't work anymore. They got to return to sender. So it's really good to know, really good information. Definitely check the feedback received because this will keep you from wasting your time and money. And this is something I did not know how to do beforehand. And unfortunately, since getting autographs through the mail is not as popular as it once was there aren't too many popular celebrities doing it like let's use ariana grande for example she did used to reply through the mail i think they did start off as real i remember she used to send people silly bands then it turned into auto pens and then she stopped somewhere around 2012 so do not use that address it is not up to date so again this website will save you your time and money based on who it is <laughs> I will be honest, you guys, reality of it is, yes, if you do want these bigger celebrities like Ariana Grande, Johnny Depp, unfortunately, either they won't have an updated fan mail address or the response they send back is not going to be them. That's just a fact. Very busy and they'll have either an assistant do it or it's an auto pen or a preprint. Just be warned of that. But again, depending on who you write to, they should have the feedback in the forum that will say that or mention it. So unfortunately, it does base upon who you write to, if you even get a response back or if it's real but again this is what this website's for it's very very helpful all the questions that you need answered will be there i will say there are other ways to find fan mail addresses without that website depending on how badly you want a certain celebrity I think other autograph collectors have videos on this and they dove more deeper into it. But usually a celebrity will have a personal website and they might have like an agent listed or you can find the management they're with and you can email their agent or manager like, hey, I'm a fan of so-and-so. What you want to do is send them this ask for autograph requests. Do you do that? Do you have an address? Because that's how I've gotten some of my autographs back. I wasn't even fanmail.biz. It's an option. You never know. And unfortunately, you guys, somebody's got to be the guinea pig at the end of the day. So I've actually been the guinea pig for a lot of voice actors I want, especially the Ed and Eddie ones. I actually personally messaged Sam Vincent, who is the voice of Double D from Ed and Eddie on Instagram. He is so nice, you guys. He is so chill. We'll do anything for his fans. I actually found his fan mail address that way. And he's like, yep, there's my management send it here. And actually going on the website, it showed all the other voice actors that I liked who they also respond. Just an example, I didn't use fanmail.biz for that. And depending on who it is, you never know. Personally for me, I like trying things. I like the feeling of knowing, wow, I would have never gotten this if I never tried. And I hate that feeling if I don't try and then I could have gotten something. So you know what I mean? I say give it a chance. I know it's scary taking a chance. I'm personally somebody that likes to, but again, all up to you. Okay, before we move on, if you are just starting to get into autograph collecting, especially through the mail, be warned, 
There's a lot of autograph people that are a little entitled. I've seen too many of them. There are a lot of them. They will shame you. Your autograph is not real and you think it's real. And they think that you should not be happy if it's not real. And I've seen people get made fun of because they thought an auto pen was real. That's just a warning. Anybody that comes your way and will try to bully you and to make you feeling bad, just ignore them. If you're happy and you don't care if an autograph is real or not. You're just happy you got a response or you're understanding, then screw them, seriously. They're gonna make it, okay? All right, so obviously you need envelopes and for the envelopes that I usually use, press and seal envelopes, different sizes depending. So it's to hold your pictures. There are people that don't send letters. You don't have to. I personally do because I write to people only that I really want and I'm actually a fan of and I enjoy their work. But it's up to you. You really don't have to if you don't want to. But basically what you would do is, I'll pop up on the screen an example I had. Hey everyone, this is Editing Alex here and this is actually a voice actor from that management I was talking about that Sam Vincent gave me that I actually really like and she's the next one I'm going to do. What you're going to do is you're going to write the celebrity's name as well as their fan mail address here. At the bottom you're going to write please do not bend. I messed up on the P. <laughs> and then of course in this corner you would put your address. In this corner make sure you put the proper postage with the correct stamps. Canada, since I live in the US, I usually do five only because I'm paranoid. I'm pretty sure three is fine, but I like to make sure it gets to them. <laughs> That's how many I do. All right, so pictures. You can print them out yourself or you can print them out at like CVS. You can send whatever you want to have signed depending on what it is. For example, if she still did autographs to the mail, like you could have sent like a magazine cover or like posters, for example. I've seen people do that. But I will say just make sure you're okay with the possibility of not getting it back if you do decide to do that. You are going to send those things. I would say make sure this person does respond and it's very recent. So there's that. Somebody asked me how to send Funko Pops. I've seen that some people are starting to send packages. Personally, I've never tried it and I don't know. I would assume you would just send another box with tracking on it maybe that you paid for, but I honestly don't know. <laughs> So like I said, you can print your own picture, but if you want this glossy feel, like you can use glossy paper to print on. I'm not sure, I think you might need a specific printer for that. So yeah, here's an example of some pictures. Um, they're different sizes, you can send whatever size you want. This is an eight by 10 picture, and this is obviously a full page picture. So yeah, why would you send your own pictures? Honestly, it's faster and easier for them, and it guarantees a response more. I guess the logic is they're so busy, so, you already have everything done, your pictures, a self-addressed stamped envelope, and they could just sign it and throw it back in. Okay, so how many pictures should you send? So again, fanmail.biz is your best friend. Most people will say like, hey, this celebrity will only sign two, or this person will only sign one. Usually it will say on there, but again, some people you could take a chance on. I've actually seen some people sign like four pictures, but it's up to you. Personally for me, I only send in two. You can send in three, but three's pushing it. So honestly, it all depends, but there are some that are strict about it, so just be careful. So what you would do is, if you wrote a letter, you put your letter in here, you would put your pictures, then you're going to include a letter to yourself. For example, I just wrote Alex with the same concept, please do not bend. And then depending on where you live, make sure you use the correct stamps to make sure it gets back to you. So then you're gonna fold that, and then you're gonna put that envelope in this. And that's how that works. So what stamps would you use? So if you're in the United States and then the fan mail address is in the United States as well, three US stamps is usually good. However, if you are in the US writing internationally, I've only had experience with Canada. You do need the Global Forever stamp. From what I've been told, these are good to go anywhere in the world. You can buy these at your post office. Honestly, I think you're good with three. I usually do five because <laughs> I'm so paranoid. So put these on your churn envelope too. I usually do. These are very useful. Obviously, if you live in a different country, I'm sorry I'm not much help on that, but definitely find out what stamps you would need to use, how many to use. I only have experience going to the US and to Canada and back. That's the best I got for that. <laughs> so yeah, that is actually pretty much everything. I hope you found this video helpful. I probably will make more autograph videos in the future. And thank you for watching.